to the station, Kentucky's Conservative Outpost, the only program in Kentucky that deals with news and politics from a conservative perspective. And so thanks for joining us today. And we're going to talk about uh, not necessarily Kentucky politics, but just the state of politics as a whole in this country. And, and if you watch uh, our home station here, WBNA, a station that's on my shirt here, Channel 21, we air the uh, the Steve Bannon's program called The War Room, right? So and we get the mic closer here, uh, we air The War Room. So it is a, it's a wonderful program. It's hosted by Steve Bannon. It's probably the most engaging, politically activist-oriented television program, I think, in the country. Uh, uh, and so it's just been a, been a big hit for us, and, and we're glad to get, be behind it. But if you've paid attention to Steve Bannon in the past year or so, you know that he's been in, involved in, a, in a, a legal battle with uh, the Department of Justice, uh, what's so here? I'll, I'll stage it this way. Okay, basically he was subpoenaed by the January 6th committee, right? And, and first of all, let me stop and say, I introduce my co-host. I got Jim Waters and Bob Scott with us. Sorry, guys. There we go. We're going to talk about lawfare and all things political in America and how it's going crazy. And we need to get our heads straight. Okay, so here, here's one example of this: is we've got Steve Bannon, who is saying, "I'm not going to be. I'm not going to go testify in front of this." Um, January 6th committee, because first of all, it's not fair and balanced. It wasn't convened with both Republicans and Democrats and, and th properly. Um, and also, I have executive privilege because I was working for the president at the time, so he was invoking executive privilege. And so he did not he did he did not uh, show up for those and so the department of justice went after him and uh, and had convicted him and now he's going to jail in in july so if you watch this program watch war room on our station you're not going to see steve bannon on effective july 1st for four months he's going to be in jail now here's what's terrible about this because uh, our justice system just with that one case shows how unfair it is now as vis-a-vis -vis people on the left and people on the right, and especially if you're a right-wing, you know, MAGA conservative type, you 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 get no special treatment, and in fact, you get you're abused basically by the by the justice system. And so, and here's why: the same situation occurred under the Obama administration with Eric Holder. Eric Holder was the uh, head of the Department of Justice. He was subpoenaed by Congress to appear uh, to, to discuss the crossfire hurricane uh, issue, which is basically grunt, uh, gun running across the border, and the ATF was involved in all this. And it was a real terrible, terrible uh, program that the uh, that they were involved in. And so he he claimed executive privilege, and of course everybody said, "Okay, that's fine, executive privilege. You got it. You don't have to show up." So so here you go. You got you got a a Democratic left-wing, um, you know, person appointed by the president uh, that can claim executive privilege and and not appear in front of Congress, and then you have a conservative who does the same thing and gets convicted and thrown in jail. Now that's very serious, folks. That that's a real serious moment in our country. That shows that we do not have fair. Uh, a fair system of justice. You know, Lady Justice has a, there's a famous statue of her with a blindfold and, and having scales and, you know, justice is blind mm -hmm. and, and not in this case. Now let's, we'll, we'll move further. Let's look at what's happening with, with President Trump. If you're a conservative, you voted Republican, Trump in the past, you, you know what's happening. Uh, Trump is being basically persecuted with what they call lawfare which is basically using the legal system to to come after someone to either drain them of the resources, drain them of their energies, uh, try to come up with some sort of embarrassing conviction that will affect the election. And we're seeing it play out. It, the, the strategy is just in the open. And, and it's to the point where the average person that may not be as engaged as, say, me, you, and... and uh, and and you know Jim and Bob and I are because we're we're political junkies. We're, we're into that. We understand. We watch this every day. It's like sports to us. But the average person that doesn't watch it, uh, they're starting to get really wigged out. They're getting weirded out by our by our political system, and rightfully so. They're going, hold on, what what just happened? They took the former president and com and convicted him. Uh, he's a felon now, and now he's going to in run an election year. in an election year. And, and he's, he's on the ballot, and they might even put him in jail? 
what is going on? This is a, it, you know the term banana republic is used. It, it's exactly what this what happens in a banana republic. So so we're at a point now. Now this isn't hyperbole, right? Because there are some things that could occur. This in the say next. Here's a good example. I heard this example on Tucker Carlson last night, right? What if President Trump gets told he's supposed to go to jail? What if he just says, "No, I'm not not going. I'm not going to jail." Uh, you come get me. I'm, in, I'm sitting here in Mar-a-Lago, and you're going to have to come get me and, and extradite me. And what if the governor of Florida says, you know what? We're not going to let anybody from, from New York come down here and take President Trump. But we're, we're this close to a constitutional crisis because of this. The, the, the system of justice has failed in this case partic- particularly. And it's failed because it's targeting it's targeting one political party. And, and it's, it's just wrong. And it's it is it is going to under, it's going to undermine and erode the entire system, and to the point where it, it it could be a crisis really soon. And so, Jim, what are you what are your thoughts? Well, on I mean, this? I don't think it's necessarily partisan. I mean, look at what's happened with Hunter Biden and the Justice Department. Felt like they had to use the law to try to get a conviction. So, and we can talk about the well, issues there. And and there's actually, he actually broke a law though. Well, he did. Trump didn't break a law. Yeah, it, he, and, he and neither did, did Biden. He did, yeah. but the, yeah. but the scale. Well, I'm talking about the scale of scale of justice. What, what's right. what's right. Uh, been the resources that have been used yeah. here to bring him so i think there's there should be concern no matter what my point is there should be concern yeah. no matter what your exactly political right. party right. about this yeah. uh, because when the the blindfold comes off lady justice uh, yeah. it could it could run both ways here you know exactly and right. so i really think it's got to be a higher discussion than just uh, I think they came after President Trump, not because he's a Republican, but because he is willing to stand up for yeah. conservative That's right. values. There's a lot of Republicans they haven't come after. Yeah. And I'm not saying they're they're not good conservative Republicans, yeah. but he's been willing to right. to be very vocal and very kind of in your yeah. face. And, and look, the First Amendment of this country uh, protects him. That's uh, right. There is protection there for him. And whether they like his speech or not is not the point. Yeah. You know, it's like, who was it that said, I may not agree with what you say. I may not even like what you say, yeah. but I'm going to defend to the yes, death your exactly right to right say, to it. say and it. We get, we need to get back to that. Yeah. And and not to disagree, I do think conservatives do get the brunt end of this. I'm mm-hmm. not I'm not diminishing that. I'm sure. just saying it's just interesting the timing of this, the seeing mm-hmm. that you know what's happened um, right. with with Hunter Biden in that case, you yeah. know, and and also in an election year as well, right? That's so, right. That's right. But and there was there was wrongdoing there, uh, yeah. obviously wrongdoing. So, yeah. but still, what what is the scale? I mean, is it is it is the amount of justice going to be appropriate for right. what's actually happened? Here? Yeah. You know. Well, I, I, it, let me just say this: the Hunter Biden situation is interesting because you know during the 2020 election. His whole uh, laptop uh, ish story was was smothered. The FC, the FBI knew about it. They actually had copies of all this. They saw crimes, potential crimes, on that laptop and ignored it. And so the fact and that the media circled and, the and, and, the, and, the, and the media. Yeah. So 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 really. And here's and, and you mentioned conservative Republicans. I think we're we're at a different point now. I almost think the left and right paradigm is not really pressing anymore. I think it's I don't think it's very applicable in this current dynamic. There's kind of a realignment going on in general. And so I think what, what we're seeing is um, you have Trump who represents and Bob could chime in on this and say, I think Trump mm-hmm. represents this this populist wave, the conservative populist wave that is anti-establishment, that is trying to break into the elite, you know, uh, you know, bureaucratic mm-hmm. world of D.C. and and uh, and and also in all the big media capitals and the, and the financial capital. You know, there's basically a, an elite in this world and in this country who have kind of circled the wagons around themselves and who uh, who want to control things on a certain level. And and it's and it's not for the good of America. And you can see that in policy after policy, trade policies, immigration policies, social policies with the LGBT stuff. They, they do not represent the good of Americans. Mm-hmm. And people are getting that now on a real gut level. And Trump represents that hand grenade that, that we're going to throw into D.C. and blow the place apart. And so, and they are rallying and, and they're going after him mm-hmm. in every way possible. Every institution. I heard today that the, 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 the uh, Small Business Administration is going out and setting up voter regist- registration op- uh, you know, operations within offices in just blue states, in just blue cities. 
and trying to get people to register to vote. The Small Business Administration, what are they doing? And, and was, there was a hearing a few days ago in Congress about this. Them, uh, there's several other organizations, federal, federal bureaucracy, bureaucratic agencies are registering people to vote in just... The misinformation poses a threat to our nation's health. Climate change is an emergency. Democratic socialism. Codified. Everyone's right to choose. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15. Weaponization, and that's what it is, mm -hmm. uh, of the Justice Department is is absolutely 100% uh, being used uh, against conservative uh, candidates. And it disturbs me a little bit. Uh, I've got some liberal friends, some that are attorneys, um, that are standing back and, and uh, some are even applauding, you know, what's happening. And it really yeah. bothers me because uh, I don't see whether you're uh, Republican, conservative, uh, or or uh, a Democrat, uh, you, you know, that leans to the left. We, uh, as an American, uh, need to be concerned about anything like what's happening right now, and it needs to absolutely be addressed and and uh, hit, hit hit on. Yeah, Jim, do you, you think part of this has to do with the fact that we've just gone through a a real sort of cultural revolution in the past decade or so, uh, and and, there, and we're dealing with such a tribal mindset now, because uh, you have one group of folks that have bought into this new you know, woke sort of ideology, and also the, and that that sort of combines with uh, you know power dynamics with uh, universities and media and business and government, and and then you so you got this tribe over here that's protecting their worldview, and then you got traditional America that's just reacting to that, and and uh, so is it just the fact that we're just so tribal now that we're like a house divided before the Civil War, where like Lincoln said, you know, a house divided cannot stand. Are we are we at that point now where where we can't have a justice system that's blind and fair because we're so tribal that we got to fight it out? I mean, what, what do you what do you well, think? Well, I think you had on the key earlier when you talked about threat to the establishment, mm -hmm. because if you look at both parties and both across the political spectrum, whether right or left, mm -hmm. there is a rebellion, on ongoing out, mm -hmm. overt rebellion mm -hmm. against the established yeah. party on both sides. Yeah. And even I think on the we, left, even on the left, too. The I mean, left. yeah, the, exactly. the, the Bernie bros are a real thing. And exactly. That's the, I mean, look, yeah. at, look at the five, you know, the, mm -hmm. what is it, the thugs? The, no, not yeah. the five, the gang five or whatever. <laughs> oh, you mean the TV show? <laughs> was, the TV show? No, no, oh, the, the, yeah. in Congress, the five. Oh, oh, oh the, yeah, I'm, right. I'm, I'm uh, sorry. I, I didn't mean the, Yeah, the uh, Casio cortez Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Anyhow, yeah, that little uh, group, look yeah. at that. I mean, they would never have gotten any traction, you know, a few years ago. But but I think I think that's what Trump represents as um, uh, a threat to the establishment. Now, my concern about this is that traditional American institutions that are important to our foundational mm -hmm. um, uh, success mm -hmm. as, a, as, a as a republic, republic yeah. mm -hmm. will maybe are getting some cracks in those, and I, I'm yeah. concerned about that. I mm -hmm. mean, if you look, for example, at church attendance, yeah. you know, uh, mm -hmm. which is way down, especially among young people. Mm -hmm. uh, and But on the other side, the race factor. We've mm -hmm. seen this nasty yeah. Uh, yeah. attempt to Division. divide Americans yes. by race. That's right. So the answer to this is, um, and, and, and I think is to win. Um, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think tr a Trump win is important not because of Trump himself so much. I yeah. think, uh, and I think as Christians, we have to be willing to say that we don't necessarily uh, 
aren't necessarily overjoyed by some of the way he he was well, some of the things he's done yeah, and said. Sure. Yeah, right. But that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about he's he understands for example how to create a brand. Yeah. Okay? There's many things in government that the president can't affect. Yeah. Doesn't affect. Mm-hmm. But he has understood what he can impact and so uh, I think the answer here is is to win. And yeah. I think that and then the winner to do the right things. Yes. You know, right. uh, I, 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 think he, I think that would happen yeah. uh, with Trump. I don't think he, I mean, I think there would be some things that would maybe appear to be retribution because he's setting some things straight that yeah. need to be set straight. Right. But I think overall that that would be. On the other hand, I do think the left has been much more willing to, yeah. uh, to use the legal system. Yeah, you that's know, right. So, so that was my question to you. So, so, way. so what is doing the right thing? For for is it is it coming in and aggressively prosecuting uh, within the law, you know? But those who have done wrong uh, in this past period of because there's a lot of wrongdoing that's not yeah, been prosecuted. I, I, where's yeah. Obama? Where, where's where's uh, Hillary? Yeah. But I think uh, uh, well, here, you know? but I think I think that I think that undoing the wrong. Misinformation poses a threat to our nation's health. Climate change is an emergency. Democratic socialism. Codify. Everyone's right to choose. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15. Violations of the law that you don't have to make up stuff to go after them with, and and we're just sitting there not prosecuting because we're well, we don't want to do that because we'll come after our. They're already doing it. They're already throwing our people in jail. Steve Bannon is going to jail next month when Eric Holder should be in jail at the same time. Uh, Trump is getting convicted, and 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 Biden, the most corrupt president we've had in the past hundred years, is sitting in the White House. And I'm not. I'm tired of it. And and Bob, Bob, you you better jump in. But Jim and I mean, (laughs) there you go. This has been going on though. Guys, for I have this honestly been enjoying years, the so. discussion, yeah. guys. Uh, yeah, because Jump it's very here. reflective of honestly uh, uh, of, what's, of the conversation in the party. Right yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. you yeah. know, um, and you both made great points uh, with regard to uh, what should be done, and 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 yes, do I feel the Republican uh, Party as a whole has been uh, a little bit too uh, non-aggressive, um, and I'm being polite. Uh, yes, uh, they have been. And, uh, you know, but, but the question is, uh, and it really comes back to um, the center of things is as, as a, a conservative Christian, um, you know, the, what does the Bible say? Uh, we're to be wise as serpents, yet gentle as doves. You know, uh, I, I do feel uh, part of the wisdom in this is to uh, educate uh, if you're in the public and, and starting to tune in, and I think I, you know, it must be impossible for people not to be tuning in and see what's happening. You need to get educated. Um, start talking to uh, your your uh, representatives, whether they're state legislators, state senators, um, you know, local people, uh, to to learn as much about you know what is going on, and and then you you need to start speaking out yourself. You know, and it starts. It starts at the grassroots and uh, start bringing things uh, into focus. And, and obviously, uh, Kentucky is a red state, and, I, and, and President Trump should win pretty comfortably here. Um, but, you know, we, we as a people, uh, what's our motto? You said it earlier. United we stand, divided we fall. You know, uh, and, and we as Kentuckians, uh, and I have plenty of friends 
um, some relatives too that, that are on the other side of the fence, you know, that, that are, are definitely liberals. But you know what? I love them and, and um, care about them as, as much as I, I do any other fellow Kentuckian. And uh, so we, we've got to get conversation going. You know, uh, if, if this thing's going to come together, we, we've got to get conversation we, going. We, we and, do. But, but don't you think we up. also need justice as well? If we don't have yeah, a justice system, we can, all, we, we, we can all trust and yes. know that works and it's, un, it's fair. And, you know, we, we got to – listen, we have a country that was set up with checks and balances. And one of those checks and balances is you have two parties, in a sense, that are going to keep an eye on each other. And mm -hmm. if one abuses their power, the other should respond and go, okay, you just, you just abused it. We're going to show mm -hmm. you what that looks like. And so mm -hmm. and if you don't have that, then we're not doing our country any service. And Actually, so, our founders were very concerned about political parties. The political were. parties are not were. checks and balances. The political parties are uh, kind of uh, a necessary evil that's happened. But mm. but I wanted to but I wanted to um, I disagree. But, well, but, 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 George Washington and his <laughs> he farewell did say that. Address he did say did that. have a serious and, and he, what he says come yeah. to pass. But back, going back to a point that Bob made, I think in your frustration about what's happening. Uh, as I think about this, you know, Bob, you said something earlier about the fact when this abortion amendment came up in our state, that there were even Christians and good people you knew that still voted against yep. the pro-life position. That is where a lot of our problems are. I think really, I think when the people demand as a whole, a reform of the justice system, for example, then it will be done the right way. It won't be done yes. based on some personality or some political partisan hack. I'm sorry, on either side of the partisan fence. And I don't think it's good for our country. But I do think when the people get educated and they're willing to do the right, if they're not willing to do the right thing, then it really makes it difficult well, to bring it, about Well, let me say this, Jim, reforms. and you're right. If they don't uh, uh, start stepping to the plate and educating themselves and, and, and getting engaged. Um, and supporting this are, work, by the way. We're, we're in danger of becoming a, another uh, communist China or Russia, you know, uh, very much so. And, and, and I know a lot of people uh, that have been survivors of communism that have actually escaped from underneath that, that rule and that life. Uh, they're the ones that see more than anybody you know, what's, what's happening right now in our country. And going back to what Tom was saying, yeah, it needs to be addressed. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no you, you, I just, I wasn't interrupting, but I, I just want to say you just can't disarm in a fight. And, uh, and, I, and I think that at the end of the day, uh, you're, we're going to see some conviction. We're going to see some active uh, judicial um, things from, from the right, and because I think it's just appropriate. There's a cer certain crimes you just can't ignore. You know? And you know, if, the AT, if the ATF's going to you know, come after some friend of mine because he bought a, uh, uh, you know, a, a, what do you call those, pistol braces, they're going to put him in jail because he Did didn't, didn't register it. They, 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 they pushed it back. They pushed it back. The ATF's going to come after everybody that bought a pistol brace for, for their... But I for mean, their, they for, come back. you said it happened to somebody that you I've got plenty that. of friends that have yeah. these that did not register these things, and yeah. so the ATF ATF is going to come make them felons. And so and if they don't make Hunter Biden a felon for breaking gun line crimes, then it, that's they, should, have. they have finally. So. But if they didn't, and, and if, then it would say, OK, you have special treatment for the elites and the privilege in this country. And then me, I'm going to get thrown in jail. So screw it. But, There's the system. That's you, where the people. That's where you flip tables. But that's you know? where the people have to, as a whole. Demand that this is what makes yes. our system great. Is that right. the the check and balance here is not Republican Democratic Party. The check and balance are the separation of powers and which has been violated here. I said that clearly. I agree, but it's also the check and balance at the end of the day is at the ballot box, and it's with people making these decisions. And, I, and that the beautiful I really, thing, Jim, I think that's that works. Happening. That works it's, itself it works out. They the it up. That works election. itself out through the through, through the system we have, which call it parties, call it not parties, but. Well, a, we have but it's a political though. system. We it's have a elections. political system that elections that, are constitutional. That's political right. parties are not elections. Well, that's true. But there are people so. that people that are elected are, can gather themselves and organize. But in I've any been way. as critical of parties yeah. as any as okay. my own it's party. Regardless, so. pe people need to uh, <laughs> take uh, as a group. Americans need to push back on people that are abusing political power. Exactly. No matter now, which now, side. You, of I don't care if it's a poll. No matter where they're at. But it's an agreement on that. Yeah. But people are abusing power. I agree with that. And 
so so let's go after them. Let's go. So we're all well, going to go after them, right? Okay. So what does that we're mean? All, that, we're going to uphold the law. We're going to go. I after know you're people. the host here, but I'm asking the question. <laughs> what does that mean? It means it means we're going to convict Hunt, uh, Joe Biden for his corruption. So we're going to put an 80-year-old former president yes. in jail. I don't for, know. For the, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, if you can get oh, support for that, you can get elected to do it. I think we can. I think we can because uh, at the end of the day, it is obvious that there was corruption there. <laughs> his whole family made money off his position and power, and yeah. it's that's illegal. If you and I did that, we'd be in jail. And I do think it yeah. needs to be exposed. That's right. I'm just saying, what do we what for the for the good well, of the country, what do we do with that? It needs so. to be shown that that's a problem. I'm not saying I have the answer. For the good of the country, so. that needs to be shown that's a bad thing, everybody. Yeah, exactly. Don't do that again, because exactly. here's what will happen. Even after you're gone, we will convict you. And your, your legacy will be tarnished forever in the histories, in history. And so that's what we need to do. I, you know, it's just... Well, you know, well, we we're out of time. We didn't put Richard Nixon in jail. <laughs> we didn't put him in jail after well, he left office. Well, because they, they, they pardoned him, and the system worked. Well, there we go. That's and right. that's what needs so, to happen so, here. Okay, so, Trump, so should come in and, Trump should come in and pardon Biden. Well, maybe he Maybe he should. I'd love maybe, to have maybe a show after should. that happens. That's maybe, gonna be, maybe that'll be should. the most interesting show that ever, ever. in the history <laughs> that's right. of shows. That's right. All right, we're, we're, we're out of time. But <laughs> I think at home, folks, you have an opinion on this. I'd love to hear it. And so um, anyway, so thanks for watching the station. We have some interesting times we're living in. These are real serious times. Good show. We've, Good been, show, we've been kind of lighthearted about some of Good this. Show. But this is really serious. Our republic is on the edge yes. here, honestly. And, and, I, and I, yes. I, I feel like if a couple of things go the wrong way, um, it's like going bankrupt. What's the old thing? You know, so it was it was slowly and then suddenly. Uh, our system's falling apart right now. Slowly and it can ha it could fall apart suddenly. It, it, it could be very dire if we're not we're not careful. So, uh, watch what happens in their life. Trump gets con get uh, jail time. That's all bets are off. All bets that. are off. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't know what's going to happen there. So, but uh, okay, you're watching the might station. Help him get elected. <laughs> yeah, might yeah from jail. Uh, you're watching the station. We'll see you next week.